Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 191. The word origin today is tightwad. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, take a, do it right now. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. If someone says that a person is a tightwad, uh, he or she is saying this is a person who hates to spend money uh, or is a miserly person. Uh, it does not imply that they are in a desperate situation. Actually, quite the opposite, uh, because the word wad, okay, by itself means a thick pile of money. So, like, if you had a lot of bills kind of like that all stacked up and you could fold it, that would be a wad of bills. Thus, a lot of bills would be a lot of bills or notes, all piled up in a thick pile uh, and folded. And therefore, a tight wad has money, he just hates to spend it. All right, let's go on. Uh, originally, tight meant closed-fisted, so your fist was closed like that, so you didn't want to open that fist. Uh, therefore, they don't want to open that hand and remove any bills from that wad. Okay. The phrase became popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Good. And we got four examples to show how we would use this. Uh, he is such a tight wad. Uh, that if he has a date, he insists they go Dutch. Well, in the U.S., most of the time, the guy does pay for the date. And you know, the girl will be pretty surprised if, uh, you know, he kind of put her in that position. So usually you, you would be considered to be a tightwad if you didn't come up with that money. All right, number two, she is such a tightwad, she would rather walk for an hour than, uh, than pay for a bus fare. Okay, good. Or number three here, don't expect Jim to treat. He is such a tightwad. Uh, this is a typical sort of example. Uh, and number four, don't be such a tightwad. Give a donation to that charity. Somebody might say it that way. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.